Hey guys, Gina here with the brand new Moto Z Play. So this was announced at IFA in Berlin and I have my hands on it. It is a beautiful device. It looks almost identical to the Moto Z which was announced earlier this year and of course it is the mid-range to the Z's flagship. But when I say mid-range, I actually mean upper mid-range because it's got a price tag of £370 which is not cheap. But it does have some good specs under the hood. It's got a Snapdragon 625 processor and 3 gigabytes of RAM. It's got an aluminium body and a glass front and back. It's got a hefty 3,500 milliamp battery under the hood as well, which Moto says should last you 50 hours. 50 hours, that's insane. That is two plus full days and that, seriously, that blows my mind. I love this battery life and I cannot wait to test it out back in the office and let you guys know if I do get a full 50 hours. It also charges by USB Type-C, which is great, it's future-proofed and you can also see it has a headphone jack, interestingly, and I say interestingly because of course the Moto Z doesn't have a headphone jack you will have to listen through Bluetooth speakers for that one if that's not your jam then maybe you want to go for the Z play because it does have that 3.5 millimeter jack you can see there's smart connectors on the back of the phone for those Moto mods. There have been a few Moto mods announced already, but there was a new one announced at IFA called the Hasselblad camera. This thing will give you 10 times optical zoom. Uh, just clip it onto the back of the phone, easy as that, and it opens the camera application. Look at that zoom, it's insane. You look like you are a serious big time photographer with that thing. So the Hasselblad camera comes in at around £100 and that Moto Z Play is £370. Cannot wait to get our hands on the phone to let you know what we really think of it. Like this video, click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching BTECT.